Hey guys, today we are doing a nice, bright, summery, festival style look. For the base I'm using Mayron Paradise and Snazaru and I'm using nice, bright, summery, warm colours, so yellows and reds and pinks and orange, and then just using a few cooler colours just to kind of break things up and put a bit of contrast into it. I'm bringing the colours right up into my hairline and a bit into my hair because otherwise you tend to get a kind of flesh coloured ring just going around your hairline and it makes it look a bit masky, it kind of ruins the effect. Basically I'm just applying all of these colours in patches all over my face, over my ears and coming about halfway down my neck and I really wanted the patches to look random and not be too uniform so I'm trying to vary the size and the shape of all of the patches. I want it to look a lot like I've had water balloons full of paint thrown at me. That's the kind of style we're going for. I found it easier to not try and add all the patches of one colour at the same time. So I'm putting a couple of yellow patches, then some orange patches, then some green, and then I can go back in with the yellow and add more of that if I want. It just helps you see the distribution of colours as you're building it up. So you might have an area where everything is really warm toned and you know you need to get some cooler tones in there to break that up a bit. Don't forget the ears and I like to do this right at the end so that I'm not sticking a brush that's been in my ear near my mouth or my eyes or something. I'm bringing the colours down onto my neck because if you stop at the jawline then it's just a really abrupt kind of finish to it. You have this beautifully coloured face and then it's like boom, regular neck. Then I'm going to set the colour on the eyes with the Sleek Ultra Matte Version 1 palette. It's full of really nice bright shades. If you don't set the colours on your eyes with some powder or something, then it tends to crease and fade really, really fast. Next, I'm making everything look really nice and drippy, and don't do what I just did, and drip paint straight into your eye, especially if you wear contact lenses. If it does happen to you, just take that lens out and carry on with just one contact lens in. For the drips, I'm getting my brush and the paint really wet so that the paint is really, really watery and then I'm just pressing the brush against the colour and letting it drip down. Sometimes you have to press a couple of times to get the drips really going. And you can angle your face or your neck or whatever to try and get the drips to run in the direction you want them to, preferably not towards your eyes. I'm not doing this for every single patch of colour, I'm just randomly picking and choosing which patches get drips and which don't. And it works better if you start from the bottom and work your way up because then any patches on the top with drips, those drips are going to run down over the drips underneath. Then I'm taking a stippling brush and some of the different colours and just stippling them around a bit to make everything look a bit more splashy and splattery. And I'm flicking paint at my face from the stippling brush. I'm using a toothbrush that's been dipped in the different colours and then just running my thumb along the bristles to flick the paint at my face. And you can try out lots of different brushes, like different brushes will give you different effects. So if it's stiffer or bigger or softer or smaller and the distance that you hold it from your face is going to make a difference. The nice thing about this splattery kind of method is it's much more random than what you can get with a stippling brush. All of the stippling and splattering, it didn't really give as much contrast as I was hoping for. So now I'm going in with a tiny detail brush and some black and just dotting that around. And I'm keeping it mainly focused around the eye area so that that's kind of the focal point of the look. Then I'm using the toothbrush dipped in black and just splattering some black around my eye area to break it all up a bit. I'm lining my lips with a black liner and I'm filling that in with Makeup Revolution Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquer in Black Heart which is a liquid to matte lipstick and it's not actually black, it's purple, it's just a really really dark purple that reads almost black. 
To make the neck a bit more interesting, I'm taking some black face paint and a stippling brush, and I'm stippling a line where the top of the neck meets the underside of the chin. I'm doing that line when I have the most paint on the brush, and as there's less and less paint on the brush, I'm stippling out down the neck and along the underside of the chin. That way it's not going to look like a harsh line, it's going to kind of fade out down the neck and fade on the chin. Then I'm adding some drips in black so it looks like that black is dripping down the neck with all of those other dripping colours. Now it's time for the tough bit guys, the white design. I'm just making up my own design as I go along. Um, but if you don't like this one, I'm going to put together a Pinterest board of different designs that you could use for inspiration, and I'll link it in the description box below. I'm using a wax-based water-activated paint for this by Diamond FX, and a wax-based paint will work much better for this kind of thing because those colours underneath aren't going to bleed through as much as they would with a glycerin-based paint. If you're having problems with the colours underneath bleeding through into the white, let that patch of white dry and then just go over it again with the white. I'm using a soft bristled paintbrush for this and it's quite a long thin one. I find that with a soft bristled brush the lines go down much more evenly. If you use a stiff brush you tend to get a stripe down the middle where the brush was, where the paint doesn't apply as thickly. But this would work with a detail brush or an angled brush or something like that as well. To try and get everything nice and symmetrical and even, I'm putting down dots before I fill in the lines. So I'm putting dots at the high points of the petals and the low points of the petals and then joining up those lines. And for the curve path circle thing in the middle, I've drawn dots along where I think it should go and then I'm joining up those dots. Then just to bring that white into the rest of the look, I'm adding a stripe down my chin and some dots above my eyebrows. And finally the eyes, the window to the soul. I'm using white face paint as liner, obviously if you have a white liquid liner that would be much better. And I'm just doing a very basic line and wing and I'm trying to match the thickness of the lines in the design on my forehead. And I managed to drip face paint in my eye again. Not a good day for my eyeballs. I'm lining my waterline with NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to make my eyes look bigger. Then I'm taking a coal pencil in black and lining just underneath my waterline because I find if you line your waterline with white and don't put a darker shade underneath it, it can look a bit weird. Smudge it out a bit so that it's not a really harsh black line. And we're done. I forgot to film adding mascara and lashes, but you may want to add those too. I painted my hand to match, but it's not very wearable because everything you touch will get covered in paint, so you, you might want to skip that. I hope that you guys liked this look and I will see you in the next video.